Freiburg against Leverkusen. Freiburg, Division Two champions last season. It's not been the best of starts, though. One point from two games, hoping for better luck against Bayer Leverkusen, a side who disappointed last season. New coach Jupp Heinkers hoping for something more than a ninth place in the table. Freiburg in the red. They had the first opportunity and the ball from an excellent position, blasted well wide by Julian Schuster. Coach Robin Dutt not at all happy at the way that chance was squandered. In the first half an hour, though, the Freiburg fans had plenty to cheer about. The stadium not quite full, surprisingly. Normally, this stadium is packed to the rafters. A few empty seats, though. Maybe the fans suspecting what was later to come, but in the opening half an hour, it really was all hands to the pumps for the Leverkusen defence. The chance is falling to Jonathan Yeager, Jonathan Yeager, born and bred in France, German name, and now preferring the German pronunciation. First chance for Leverkusen, and the ball is whacked into the back of the net by Stefan Kiesling. 35 minutes gone, the first real threat to the goal of Manuel Zaltz, and Kiesling does the business, his third goal of the season. Freiburg and their fans absolutely stunned. Once again, the ball threaded through from Rolfus and Stefan Kiesling, hoping actually to be in the German squad for the World Cup in 2010, certainly making his mark on the game. At half-time, Freiburg trailing by one goal to nil. But could, on the basis of that first-half performance, could they make up the deficit? Two minutes into the second half and Leverkusen produced a real damper for Freiburg hopes. It was Tranquilo Barnetta with his first of the season. The goal laid on by Renato Augusto and Freiburg's defence really should have snuffed out that opportunity. We see once again in slow motion how Barnetta was allowed to pick his spot and blast the ball home. It's a good shot, but he should never have been allowed so much time. Ten minutes into the second half. The sun continuing to beat down. Fabulous conditions, great temperatures. Perfect for soccer. A clash between Idrisu and Adler. René Adler in goal for Leverkusen, a very hot property indeed. Adler standing a great chance of keeping goal for Germany at the next World Cup. Jupp Hankers, the new coach in Leverkusen, a little worried. Robin Duck spurring his side on, but already two goals to nil down. Seven minutes later, and once again, Julian Schuster wasting a wonderful opportunity. Freiburg created chances against Leverkusen, but they squandered them time and again. 68 minutes gone. And then a silly foul from Tommy Beckman. Tugs Derdiok to the ground. Shown the yellow card by referee Marco Fritz, who performed very well in his first game in the Bundesliga. One minute later, the ball hammered home, and I'm afraid Manuel Zoltz did not cut a very confident figure. Usain Bolt gesture from the goal scorer. 3-0 for Leverkusen, and that really was just about it as far as Freiburg were concerned. The goalkeeper should at least have got something on that shot. 76 minutes gone, and Leverkusen firmly in the driving seat. A terrible mistake by Kramas. Barnetta producing the goods. His second goal of the game. The player who almost left Leverkusen, he was not a happy bunny in the close season, negotiated with several clubs, but in the end decided to stay with Leverkusen, a good move perhaps. Once again, Barnetta looks up, picks his spot, and it is 4-0 for Leverkusen. 
It must be said, though, that despite Leverkusen's superiority, the Freiburg fans, they stuck by their side. Rudy Fuller, sports director in Leverkusen, delighted. In the closing stages, 11 minutes to go. And the ball once again blasted high and wide, this time by Felix Bastians. It's not as though Freiburg did not have their opportunities, but Robin Dutt has got to work on his sides finishing. Six minutes from the end. Dediok, all the time in the world as the Freiburg defence stands and watches. And once again, it's the Usain Bolt gesture. The arrow of destiny. Rolfers nods it back. Dead York does well to keep that down. He did bounce a little high. His third goal of the season. And that was just about the end of the action. The most emphatic of victories for the visitors. Freiburg face an uphill battle to stay in Division 1. It ends. Freiburg nil, Leverkusen 5.